Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have the Ryobi OnePlus 18 volt hot glue gun, the P305. We're gonna open up and try it out. Stay tuned. Before we open it up, I'm just gonna look at a couple of the specs on the packaging here. The first thing, it is self-standing, which makes sense because it's a OnePlus tool. It's gonna to have that robust battery on the bottom so it can stand up. It has a two-finger trigger for enhanced control is what it says. It does have a very enlarged uh, trigger. It looks like it's an enlarged trigger. Get two fingers on that. Uh, an LED on-off indicator, 3.5 hours of runtime. It does include three glue sticks, which is nice. So three glue sticks are included and um, a robust design for heavy duty gluing. All right guys, we'll go ahead and open it up now. I've got a piece of scrap wood here on the table because I don't want to cut the new table. All right, let's see if we can get it out now. Pretty, pretty basic here as far as uh, what comes with it. You can see everything through the packaging. Get our operator's manual. There we go. Okay. Get rid of our scrap cut wood. And we have the operator's manual. There we have our three glue sticks, which were inside the operator's manual, all wrapped up. And then the glue gun itself. So two finger trigger, like it said. We have the on off here and it looks like the LED indicator right there. Uh, pretty, it did say robust design. I mean, it's, it feels, feels good. It feels big and bulky in a good way. So yeah, not, not too complicated there. We'll grab a battery here, pop that in. And uh, it's definitely, it's a mechanical feed. So it's not, that was one question I had was if you pulled on it and it was auto feed or if it had a more controlled feed, but it is definitely a mechanical uh, feed. You can see there when you move that, it's not done with uh, any electronics or anything through the feeding mechanism. The feeding mechanism is mechanical, not electronic. So the only thing electronic is the heating element, uh, or at least that's what it would seem here. So we'll go ahead and uh, yep, turn it on, there it is. So if we turn that off, the red light turns off. Turn that on. We can slide a glue stick in the back here. Feed that all the way forward as much as possible. And it does feed most of that stick. You can see how far in that goes. That pushed all the way in there. So, looks good. We'll go ahead and turn that on and get that heating up. Now, I'm not sure what it says. Symbols, operation, there we go. Um, insert hot glue stick, use standard. So these are the 0.45 inch diameter glue sticks. It does recommend you place a paper or something underneath because of the drips. So this will start to drip. So we'll grab back our, uh, our test piece of wood that we drop down there. And so for drips and whatnot, we've got that ready. Set the glue gun in an upright, switch it to on. So yeah, di different temperatures. That's what I was looking for was how quickly, and we'll see here since I've turned it on, how quickly that, that heats up. It doesn't say exactly, and obviously that will vary based off of the different kind of glue. So good to know there. Now for our test today, what we're going to do um, we're going to test this out a little bit differently and we can feed this if we feed this a little bit it'll um, See how that does there If you can see that feeding in now we're almost 
That's how far we are. So it almost takes an entire stick just to get through the through the gun there. And there's the drip. All right, guys, because it's the holidays, we are going to do something a uh, little festive, a little weird uh, for, for a lot of people, but it'll help us test out this glue gun. So uh, tradition in my family growing up, we used to make gingerbread houses out of cookies and make a gingerbread train and a bunch of other fun stuff. Um, I've got today some old crackers. Uh, these are just the uh, saltine crackers and they're really old and so well, that's, that was our tradition. We get these old uh, gingerbread things that we wouldn't make anything, uh, we wouldn't want to eat them and uh, instead we'd make them into a cracker or into a gingerbread house. So here we have our glue gun. What we're going to do is open up this and just see how precise these are. We're going to try and build something out of these uh, old crackers. So if we take these, and it should be pretty hard because they are falling apart, like I said. So we're going to try and glue some of these together and see how well they uh, stand up. So definitely, and right now I'm using one finger. You don't have to use two, it seems. But uh, I think... I think that line, that is actually a really good, makes a really good line there. Um, about on, I guess, not not too crazy or too too much different than what you would expect, but I'm, I'm glad that it, uh, with, again, I thought it was going to be a, a more of a digital feed, but it seems to, uh, we're going to see if we can stack these up high too. But, oh, that one's falling down. We're going to make this. It definitely puts out enough. In fact, almost, almost too much. But it uh, feels like it definitely can put out a lot of glue there and we're almost we almost need to get another stick going because this one has almost fed all the way through Whew, still hot there we go making a little little house here doing the second story there we go and we're getting some of this glue on on our table, but we'll turn that around a little bit. Yeah, it's almost almost ready to put in another stick there. Not quite. We're gonna do a second level on here to really test this out. There, there, and there. So you can do. You don't have to squeeze it as hard, and you can get a little bit less. But then it kind of gets choppy there. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, we're gonna have to do, let's see, this will be a little bit tricky to get a second level going. Oh, and yep, there we are. We are out of glue, so it's not feeding. So we have to stick another stick in there, and that'll now start feeding again. Okay. Let's see, let's try it here. So it is a little bulky right there to try and get in some of these, because it is that robust design they are advertising it is a little bit bulky when it comes to getting into some of these uh, hard to reach areas. Um, just something to note is it is, it's, it's big. It's, it's a big glue gun. All 
I will say, not fighting the uh, power cord is phenomenal. It almost makes up for the fact of how bulky this is. Uh, power cord, uh, it's just so annoying. And with the, uh, what did it say, three, three and a half hour run time. So this is, this is great. We're gonna go here and here. Yeah, as long as I'm going away from the, from the structure, it's not too bad, but trying to get into some of these. And it's got a, it's got a fairly pointed nozzle, but even the tip I think is a little bit bigger than, than uh, some of the other ones. Yeah, for portability, this is this is phenomenal. I mean, you grab grab two batteries and a couple glue sticks, you could be gluing for days. Craft shows, this would be awesome. Going to a booth where you don't have power on available, or like a fair or outside, something like that. Could be uh, be pretty awesome. There we go. Again, we'll glue down that one. Glue down that one. There we go. Okay. There's our little two-story saltine cracker house for our holiday time of the year with the 18-volt OnePlus Ryobi hot glue gun battery-powered portable uh, robust design. We can flip that off. Uh, used about a stick and well the, all, the other one just got pushed. Yeah so it, that, that took about a stick of uh, hot glue for uh, this little little build. So not too bad little house. Kind of fun little tool. So one other thing real quick that we're noticing is it's not that hot. It does have the don't touch this is hot and obviously you know around the tip um, it is hotter, uh, and we don't recommend that you touch it, but compared to some of the other guns that I've used, hot glue guns, they, it's not nearly as hot uh, on the exterior, and again, it's, it's more bulky. There's, there's a lot more here than what I'm used to, and so it definitely is not nearly as hot. I think it's because it's, again, dissipating that heat through uh, a larger area and it makes it nice. It's actually a little more friendly. I've been burned by these before where you'll touch it and it'll be on and it'll be really hot. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I like that. I like that it's a little bit bigger, uh, especially if you're doing more of a work environment where you don't have to be so precise. You don't have to get into some of those crevices. Uh, that's, that's really nice. And being able to stand it up without it falling over on itself, uh, again, that's really nice there as well. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. This was the 18-volt Ryobi OnePlus hot glue gun. Really nice, convenient, portable, really cool. Glad, glad to get rid of the cables. We're going to use this a lot around the house, uh, crafts and whatnot. And I think kids could use this pretty easily. The trigger pull isn't too bad. Uh, again, with some supervision, I think, uh, think it would be nice addition to uh, craft time around the house. So thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already because we upload new videos each and every week. Right now we're doing our special 12 days of Christmas. So every day we're opening a new tool. If you wanna see more of what we're doing, check out our links in the description below and make sure to comment and let us know what tool you want to see next. Thanks for watching, guys. Through the magic of editing. 
All right, guys, we'll go ahead and open this one up. I always hate opening these plastic ones, though. They're not my favorite. You can see why. Plastic containers are the worst. The plastic packaging. Just gonna make a whole big mess of it here. Ah, piece of scrap wood.